He's called right. He shot like 20 of them. I forgot how much of them. This shit's just exclusive. All right? He's like the only one, like only of the 15 people in the world that have this type of car. I can't remember. And he said, these cars right here, I don't even touch them. He's like, I'm just like a big kid. So he, as soon as he get his bag, he buying cars. He bought his grandson a what a, um, uh, what was it? Uh, how yeah. much of the, the $1,000 uh, yeah. watch? Yeah, yeah. Like, I think it was Richard Milley, something yeah. like that, one of those watches. Now, are we telling, well, listen, you're a grown-ass man. You do what you do with your own money. That's just you. But at the end of the day, we're talking about wisdom. He has no wisdom. No wisdom, man. Zero wisdom, man. Okay? That's a simple-ass nigga in every sense of the word. All right, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 7 and 19. Wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than ten mighty men which are in the city. Mm -hmm. For there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good. And Matter of fact, is there anything above that? Let me... Um, let me go and see. Is there anything I want above it? Oh, I can start at verse 11. It says, Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense. Yes. And money is a defense. Yes, yeah, so wisdom is a defense. And money is a defense. But the scripture says what? But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it. So what's the supreme defense? Is wisdom. Money is a defense. Because we all work or we um, bros have to do what we got to do to make this money. Right? We got to labor, got to toil. That was a curse that fell upon Adam. Right? You got to work and make your money, whatever the case is. Because you got bills to pay, etc., etc. Some brothers got kids, whatever the case is. You got cars, you got whatever. You, uh, you know what I mean? You, you need you need money. You need money. Scripture tells you that you have to work. That's in the scriptures. However, scripture says wisdom is the what? Is is um read it again? Con. Uh Ecclesiastes 7 and verse 12. It says wisdom, for wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom gives life to them that have it. Wisdom is a supreme thing. It's a supreme thing, man. It gives it life to them that have it. It gives it for life. That wisdom going to lead us to eternal life. That's right. Man. That wisdom going to lead us to get on them chariots. Mm -hmm. All right? So money ain't it. It is not money. It's not the end all be all. Because that's what people make it. Like 50 cents said, get rich or die trying. That's, that's a nigga's motto. Yeah, I'm just going to do a couple of more scriptures and then... Um, You know, and like we said, we's gonna, you know, probably like we said, we probably, but like we said, we don't have to because we already addressed uh, most of these questions, man. Yeah, yeah. Them easy questions, man. Right? Which is not about black, it's about nationality. The virgin birth is a fairy tale, it goes back to Babylon. Read about ceramicists. Okay, it's not, it's not a, uh, a exclusive to uh, Mary. That's, that's old, that's handed down. Okay? Going to the Babylonian culture, she said she immaculately conceived the Talmuds. The scripture tells you how Ashai came through the seed of David. Yeah. The Gentiles has received salvation are the Israelites. We were born into the olive tree before we went to something else. The olive tree is Israel, Judah and Israel. The branches that were scattered were the Israelites. Why? Because that was a part of the curses that we were following the ways of the heathen. We separated from the Most High. Mm -hmm. Right? But the scripture also said, um, um, we will remember ourselves. We will graft it back in. Okay, that's the people at the most out to provoke the, the other branches to anger. Let's go to Israelite foreigners. Yep. Okay. All right. That's not talking about the other nations. Let's go into the Israelites, man. It was always about the Israelites, man. That's why Paul asked that the most high um, uh, cast, cast away his people, which he already foreknew. The answer is no. He made an everlasting covenant with the Israelites. He made a promise to our fathers. Okay? What don't you guys understand about that, man? Okay? And I forgot the other questions, you know. You know, at the end of the day, I'm saying we we answered those questions. There's tons of videos on them type of questions. Like literally the only thing I do is look them up. You see? So you you look it up, man. Alright, check them out. Ten questions I asked Eber Israelite. And that's why you, mother, you you devils are going from camp to camp looking for answers, man. That scripture says, um, let's get Amos 8 and 11. Bastards going from camp to camp looking for the truth, man. 
And when you get the truth, you're still bucking up against it. Like Stephen said, you always resist the Holy Spirit, man. You resist the Rakakwadash, man. Because you're no different than your evil forefathers, man. All right, go ahead. Uh, Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord power, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from the, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's happening now. These niggas going from, because the famine of the word is approaching. Yeah. The famine of the word is approaching, man. So these guys, they, they running from camp to camp, try, trying to get the answers, and the brothers breaking it down, and you still ain't getting it. So at the end of the day, it's a waste of time, man. Just sustain your Christianity, man. Right? So just wait for the rapture, you clowns, man. Oh, well, we don't got to worry about that, brothers and sisters, because we're going to get raptured. All right. Even though the, even though it's clear as day in the scripture, after the tribulation of these days, some reason, somehow, they haven't seen that scripture yet for some reason. Because, why? Wow, you Christians, you don't believe in the scriptures. You never did. Okay? I was trying as plain as they said, after the tribulation of the day, then shall the Son of Man come and gather his elect. They haven't seen Acts 14 and uh, 22. Yeah, if too much trials and tribulation. The scripture says every eye shall see him. It's not going to be no secret beaming up of the church. Everybody has to see how shall I come back. Better let's get Revelation 6 and 1. So, you, you know, you Christians, man, you know, and you like we say, call on Lai Habashim Yal Shah, that we're not in that sick institution, you know, following that um, demonic doctrine. Of a white Jesus, of everybody can be saved, of these Amalekites are the real people of the Lord, and that we're the Gentiles. How crazy is that, man? Okay? And then there was a virgin birth, and that this hell, and then you have to get baptized with physical water, and that the church is an actual physical temple, not a body, not the body of believers, man. Okay? It's just madness in that that book man oh then you don't got to keep the laws no more you don't got to observe no high holy day you can actually follow christmas man you have the nerves to talk about us man talking about questions for the hebrew israelites i wish that nigga was in front of us man so i could tell him something man you're crazy man these niggas eat pork shrimp crab lobster and all this abomination you don't got his bed on his face nothing okay Observing all these pagan holidays, we rehearsing the righteous acts, we keeping the um the, the biblical high holidays to the best of our ability. But we're crazy and we're a false doctrine. You had the other idiot woman, oh, they keep the most high's laws, they don't keep the Mashiach laws. What are you talking about, man? That's another thing you, you Christians have. You got female ministers, man. Yeah. Another abomination, man. When the scripture clear is that y'all love going to Paul. The scriptures is clear as day that your woman's supposed to keep your mouth shut, man. That's right. It's not permitted unto her to speak. That's right. If she would learn anything, let her ask her husband at home. Okay? Period, man. That's in the scriptures, man. But like we said, you guys, you don't believe in the scriptures. You believe in man-made doctrine. That's right. You believe in what? Dogma. That's right. We brought that out last week. All right, go ahead. Revelation 6 verse 1 And I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals And I heard as it were the noise of thunder One of the four beasts saying come and see And I saw and behold a white horse And what's this horse? Is it a literal horse? I've seen a Christian woman She had Jesus, white Jesus on a horse coming Let's talk about a chariot man. That horse is a chariot Okay That horse that Yahweh shot That's the horse or the chariot that the brothers be going into earlier that Esau had made now. That's the chariot that the Lord is going to come upon. That's right. All right, go ahead. And that's why that, stuff like that is coming up more now. Yeah. More sightings. You know, they, they, they letting the world know these are actual things. You know, you're not bugging now what y'all see these, in, these, um, in the skies. Yeah, and, what, and what's the Christian stock? And what the Christians say that is? Fallen angels. Oh, oh man. They say that them, them aliens are fallen angels. Oh, boy. And it, like in times past, People that had video footage of chariots 
they, they would grab them up and delete the videos that you know don't talk about this you know what i'm saying people would knock at their door you know but now it's like it's so it's too much the Dude. internet is they undoing everybody yep. has a smartphone yeah yep. dummy everybody has a smartphone you saw let's try to show up right now we can just take a picture and put it up on the internet mm -hmm. you can't control it all at once it's happening everywhere yeah yeah see so now they gotta admit all right go ahead and all that happened at this time because we're approaching that time man you know that that's the build of our faith the whole for let we want we see these chariot sightings in the videos some brothers actually get to see it you know look in the sky and they see the chariots you know and i build about faith like man the heavenly father with us man you know angels all around us man you know so we can have we got that we gotta have that faith man see see that see uh, that's what scripture say when zachariah fifth chapter is that's the curse that goes to and forth from the earth man that's the curse to esau you know and wicked jakes too you know because you wicked jakes that don't repent they're in that time y'all ain't getting lazy up yeah, about them chariots, man. Y'all gonna be destroyed, man. Destroyed, man. Hell with you niggas, man. Gone. Talking about questions for the Hebrew Israelites. You better repent. That's right. All right? And you know, you guys are on a base level, man. You're not to be arrogant. It's just on a base level. Yeah. What's this guy named Eric Mason? Brothers dealt with your ass already. You know, you on a base level, too. And he was looking at IUIC videos, Eric Mason. He said, oh, they, they go into Genesis 49. You know, he, was, he was looking at all the different videos. That's what he said these guys are doing. Mm. Because they realizing that they went to theologian seminary school, they don't have the truth. And first of all, the most I don't deal with no theologian school, man. The, the disciples were fishermen. What theologian school did they go to, man? It, it, the Apostle Paul. Them. The Apostle Paul was learned, and he said that he had to. Um, he considered that dung in order to win Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai ain't dealing with that, man. Or went to, I got my my doctorate degree in theologian. The Lord ain't dealing with no clown like that, man. This is based off the spirit of Rakapa Dash, man. God. All right? Not in no, your, your, your base degrees, man. That's why the kingdom of heaven is hit from men like that. All right, go ahead. That's what the young brother, the Sakari, was able to run circles around it, that character, man. And he had to end up fleeing up out of there. Mm -hmm. All right? Because the spirit of the Lord is not with you, man. All right, go ahead. Verse 2, verse 6 and 2. And I saw and behold a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow. And, the, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. Yes, so when the Lord come back, he's going to bring down all the nations. That's what you read in Revelation 11 chapter. I don't know if you're going to get it. It says, the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our Lord. Right? So, yeah, Yahweh Shai is coming back to open up a can of ass whooping, man. And all the heathen, man. I think it's 15 around there. Something like come. That. Revelation 11 and 15. And the seventh angel sounded. Ground, we come in, we between the sixth and the seventh, the seventh. Right? Right there in between. Right. Because they already made war with the kings of the east going back to 2001. When they went against Afghanistan, Iraq, now Iran. Iran is the, the, the missing piece. Mm. It's all about Iran right now. When they hit Iran, the scripture talks about the Russians, man. Gog and Magog on going to be a defense. Okay? Also, I said he's going to put hooks in their jaw. Turning back to the ways of old, mm. the communist idea, man. You see, that's why Russia said they want um, what, what was it? they want Ukraine back, right? Is it Ukraine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they yeah. say they want that they they ship back, man, because mm -hmm. they were a part of the Soviet Union. Mm -hmm. You see, that's how they want it back to the days of Stalin, right? That's why they got troops surrounding yeah. the different um yeah. areas of Ukraine. Yeah. They want Ukraine back. China said they want Taiwan back. And they're getting ready to invade Ukraine, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah. they're about to invade Ukraine. Yeah, and China said they want Taiwan back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's they, what everything that's going over in the South China Sea. Yeah, yeah. You see? Yeah, they are the same people. They are the same people. But who had caused that division between them? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, good. Who, who had caused that division between them? Esau. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Why do you think um, the people from Hong Kong was fighting against China? Who do you think made Hong Kong? It was the Brits. Mm. See, but they love the ways of the West more than um, the ways of China. But they're the same people. So who had caused that division? It was the Esau. Yep, yeah, yeah. See? Mm. See, because China want that everybody to follow their culture, man. They want all their territories back. They want Hong Kong back. They want Taiwan back. They're like, these are our lands, man. Or you want the shit back, man. And I, yeah. I, I, uh, I did a, a lesson not so long ago. I was reading an article and it mentioned how um, all this stuff going on in the South China Sea. I believe you had Australia, 
you had. Uh, oh yeah, they said they, they they ready to hit Australia too. Yeah, and and then they said the uh, Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, or whatever, he said that he's ready. He's ready to defeat America, Babylon. Yeah, he said he's ready. Which he gonna be a slick. and for everything they following now is a communist China China mob. This whole vaccine passport, that's all what the Chinese are doing. Facial recognition every year, that's all go back to China. Yeah, yeah. Right? Which you know he could the most high using him, but guess what? Uh G Ping, because he thinking in the back of his mind, he gonna be the next guy. You got something else coming to you too. Yep, probably. You going like, right into captivity right along right. with the Rothschilds, man. That's right. Alright? You're gonna be right there in that hole as well. You're going into slavery, my man. G Ping. What's his name? Yeah. Yeah, G G Ping, whatever. G G Ping, man. You're going <laughs> Vladimir Putin too. That's right. You going into captivity too, Con. man. Con. All of you, man. Mm-hmm. All right, the guy, the head guy in Iran, so much of them, captivity too, man. You going to captivity too? Man. And then and, and that's, yeah. that's that's the beauty of it, because in, the in their mind, they think they about to go to war yeah. and, and rise from the ashes and be the next in charge. Yeah, we gonna we gonna overthrow the beast and take his place. Not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, man. All right. The Lord has put it in your hearts to fulfill His will. That's why we that's read Revelation. Come on, it. That's good. Yep. Revelation eleven and fifteen, and the seventh angel sounded. And there were great voices in heaven saying the kingdoms of this world are become the kingdoms of our Lord and of Hamas and of his anointed and he shall reign forever and ever and ever and ever and ever age after age after age after age that's what the scripture says the kingdom shall be not left that's the spirit to other people man. I'm gonna bring that already okay? so that's the beauty of this whole thing man you know Kaaba Shemiel Shah is about to give us the people that you never thought. You know, that's the beauty of this story. The undesirables are going to rule forever. And that's why he said, I want to tell you the Israelites. Because he understand the blessing you're going to get. Mm -hmm. And he understand, damn, if we put the greatest people in slavery, what's, what's going to happen to us? That's the quote that, um, what's the name, Hitler brought out. We have read it. I remember mm, they took that yeah, video yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before this basketball guy brought it out, we then brought that quote out. And YouTube has struck that. They said, "Oh, he didn't write it in standard third. He did say that, man. Right? Because if it was, if it was no um, validity in that, why are you guys so threatened to take it down?" And he realized. I, I believe he went to the Olympics and he seen Jesse Owens. Yeah. You know, he like, you know, that was the things that he looked like. Look like, yeah, that's Jake right that's there. That's the whole point of steroids. Steroids were created because of that that event right there. Yeah. Could we dominate? Yeah. See, that's why. Um, he knew um, um, who, the, who the Israelites are, man. And he said it himself that that was the biggest kept secret was the Negro's nationality. He said it. He said it in that quote. He said, and he said these Amalekites at all costs would, um, um, uh, what did he say? He said that these Amalekites, he didn't say Amalekite, he said, you know, they, he said, mm -hmm. by all, he said the Illuminati, the Amalekites would keep this secret at all costs. At all costs, all right, to let the to, to um, not let the world know who the real people are the most high. See, and he said that World War Three was gonna. He said it. <laughs> he said the World War Three was gonna start, man. And he's right. World War Three is gonna start because the most high set it up that way, man. Why to 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 um to deliver his elect? That's right. It's all about the elect. Okay. I had a precept. Daniel two and forty four. And in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom. And when you learn, that's going into the fourth beast. Yep. Yeah. All right. It's his kingdom right now. All right. They're uh, rebirth of the Roman Empire. Going to America and the EU. Yeah. Right. Uh, so it says, in the days of these kings shall the power of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people. So, GP, you never going to have a shot at this world dominance that you're dreaming about. Because he's plotting and he's scheming. Right? Vladimir Putin, your ass too. But Russia been plotting and scheming too. That's why both of them might cahoots. And guess what? You both going to go down together. Because mm -hmm. after Babylon out the way, guess what? Yahweh Shai and the elect going to take your ass down too, man. All right? You Russians going down. And you, um, you Moabites, you going down, man. And you Iranians, you going down, all right? Where the nation is up. You Koreans going, with y'all Moabites, yep. you going down too, man. That's right. All right, that, that other idiot over there, like uh, Trump said, Little Rocky. 
Trump called him what? Little Rocket Man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He going down Ooh, to uh, Kim Jong. Yeah, <laughs> Kim Jong Un. Yeah, Little Rocket Man. You know what I'm saying? They are like five. You never know it. He looked big on TV. Only like five for five. Yeah, he looked. He, yeah, yeah. You know? he looked like he could be short in person. Yeah, Little Rocket Man. He going to captivity too, man. Guess what? Trump going. He alive. This shit go down. People been dreaming about his death. He going to captivity too. Obama. He alive when this shit go down. He going to captivity too. Nimrod, man. That's right. And of course, the Rothschild and all the the, the wicked elite around the world. Y'all gonna try to go to y'all space station. Y'all gonna try to go under the sea. Try to go in these bonkers. You all gonna get booted up and chained captive. All right, go ahead. Well, it says, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people. The kingdom not gonna be left to other people. So there's not gonna be joint rulership, right, with the nations. Right? We're not gonna have a uh, a seat at the UN and talk with the nations and come to agreements. That's that's mad.